Our plus chickens option makes it easy to order the chickens you want. You select the number, breed, and age of chickens you would like to purchase. The birds are shipped express mail to your door. By ordering your chickens online, you make sure you get the right chickens just for you, not just what the vendor has available at the time. Please note, note that day-old chicks will need a starter kit and feed to care for them until they are old enough to be placed in the coop. Older chickens between 15 and 22 weeks will be shipped after you receive your coop and are ready for them. They are coop ready and will begin to lay eggs within a few weeks. Be sure to check your local ordinances on owning chickens in your area before placing your order. Simply click the button below to make your selections. We'll take care of the rest. What you want to do is you want to set up 48 hours ahead of time and you want to clean and disinfect the area and any feeders and waterers that you're going to uh, be using and make sure that it's all set up and ready to go so when the chicks come everything's in perfect working order. We've set up a brooding area and it's separate from the older birds. Make sure that uh, it's secure and free from predators. We've set up a heat lamp and then around the heat lamp, we have a brooder guard. It's about two and a half to three feet radius from the heat lamp. And that way, the birds uh, can huddle underneath the heat lamp, or they can move away from the heat lamp and get a little bit of exercise to get them off to a good start. We set the heat lamp about 20 inches above the litter, and then we monitor the temperature. What you want is a comfort zone around the heat lamp, and that comfort zone for the first week needs to be around 90 to 95 degrees. When you're ready to put the litter down, I recommend three to four inches deep. For starting chicks, I particularly like to use a one quart water. This particular one's made by Little Giant, and it's an excellent waterer to start young chicks because it's plastic, easy to clean, and when we're placing these, we place them on the outside of the comfort zone so that the birds have readily access to the uh, uh, water and that the water doesn't get overheated and again what you want to make sure is you put the waterers out 24 hours uh, prior to the chicks arriving so that the water is at room temperature around 80 degrees because cold water discourages drinking then I put the chicks uh, in the brooding area and so without the feed and that way the chicks have a couple hours to drink, rehydrate themselves before they start eating. Next, we need to consider feed. The first thing to do is make sure that there's lots of feeders around, and I, I like to use a low-lying type of a feeder, a trough feeder. I also like to put feed in egg cartons. It's good to allow four linear inches of feeder space per bird to get chicks off to a good start. Waters and feeders should be emptied and cleaned and refilled every day. It's also important to make sure that any damp litter around the water is removed and replaced with fresh dry litter. Once the birds are in, what you want to do is monitor it a couple times a day to make sure that the birds are evenly distributed. It gets them up drinking, which is very important. It gets them up eating, and more importantly, it gets them up exercising, and that's just another tip to get them off to a good start. Chicks hatched in the spring in a barn like this, uh, the light should be on for 24 hours a day for the first couple of days, and then it can be reduced to 18 hours a day for the next couple of weeks. And by the third week, you can reduce it to 16 hours and keep it at 16 hours for the duration of the growing period. Light can be supplied for an area such as this by two 40-watt bulbs. And you don't need to go any higher than that, but two 40-watt bulbs will give enough light for the birds to get up and eat and drink. As the birds grow older, the brooder ring can be expanded, the heat lamp uh, elevated, so that you're reducing the temperature of the brooding area about five degrees per week until you reach a minimum of about 55 degrees. As the birds get older, you want to raise the height of the feeders and waters, and so they're right at the back of the birds. And this way, it keeps them a lot, a lot cleaner, and there's less contamination from the chicks uh, kicking up any litter into the feeders and waters.